Hi friends, welcome to Nurses Learning Guide. Today we are going to discuss about Glasgow-Gomer scale. Uh, as you all know that this is one of the important tool uh, in assessing the consciousness of a patient. Uh, the experts at the University of Glasgow in Scotland developed the GCS in 1974. It's the most commonly used scale for measuring decreases in consciousness including coma. It's the most widely used uh, tool for measuring commas and decreases in uh, consciousness. And in this Glasgow Coma Scale, there are three uh, components. You can see that eye movement, motor response, verbal response. And uh, let's see how we are going to score them and uh, what are the things included in this. Glasgow Coma Scale. In this, uh, you can see the neurological exam looks uh, for any problems with the function of the two main parts of the nervous system, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The GCS ranges, as we mentioned, that uh, for the head injuries is um, uh, depends. The scales you can see it's the score highest score is a 15, and 13 to 15 is considered as a mild traumatic brain injury. 10 to 12 is moderate, and 3 to 8 is a severe. Uh, Glasgow Coma Scale. You have to remember that score of 8 or lower mandates intubation for airway protection. Normally. Uh, as we are nurses, we say that below 9 is exactly right, it's 8 or uh, lower mandate. So uh, this is uh, the situation which make us to go for uh, intubation. Coming to the eye movement, you can see the response score is the highest score is 4 and start from 1. The 1, uh, your eye don't open for any reason. If there is no movement at all and uh, there is no response at all, that means the score one if the response is good then we will score them as four coming to the verbal uh, you have to remember that uh, after the i you can see the verbal response as well the verbal the highest score is five so one means in this verbal you can't speak or make sound there is no response at all that means it's one and if very oriented then in its score will be five so you have to remember each one two three four five how the response uh, will be and we have to score accordingly in the next one you can see the motor response uh, the movement in this the highest score is six and uh, the lowest is one the six means the followed uh, the patient is followed the instructions very well one means you don't move at all there is no response again the score you can see look at the score is one two three four five six you have to see each steps how we are going to according to the response you have to score them as well uh, once again uh, we will just go through eye movement verbal response motor response from the top when you take the first component is eye then verbal and motor four five six these are the score highest score comes for the i4 verbal five and motor six then each one you can see eye movement spontaneous means four to the sound response three to the pressure two none one again verbal response patient is oriented five confused four words only three only making sounds then two nothing one motor response obey command six that means the patient is very oriented and able to move obey commands six localizing five normal flexion four abnormal flexion three extension two nothing no response at all then it's one these are the scoring and it's easy to score and uh, you can just go through. In this uh, the recent update like uh, GCSP in 2018 a team of experts uh, you can see that uh, published an updated version in GCS is called GCSP. The P stands for pupil. This is a fourth number that the providers uh, subtract from the standard GCS score. Uh, the pupil score in this like uh, from 0, 1, 2. A zero means both pupils react to light and one uh, one people doesn't react to light and two is neither people react to light. So in this, how this score is a GCS score of, uh, for example, if the score is three and people score is two, then the GCSP score of one. This is a simple scenario which I explained. Uh, however, uh, the hospital policy and protocol and the emergency trauma physicians and uh, uh, the trauma uh, center, how they uh, look uh, you know how they follow their policies and protocol the same you have to carry out and uh, uh, this is all about the glasgow commerce scale thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed please do not forget to subscribe and uh, like and share see you soon with another video it's me Gijo signing off from nurses learning guide thank you and good day